Hey Tinternet, welcome to Tint Stuff, I'm Matt, and today I'm going to be showing you how to cut out the shifting style windows on the newer trucks and SUVs. The older vehicles I'm going to cover in a later video. There's a lots of different styles of windows, and those you need a lot of experience to be able to tint them anyway. So what I'm going to be doing is just showing you the newer style right now, because those are the most common that you're going to see nowadays. So I have this Cadillac Escalade and this Yukon Denali, and as I roll down the window you can see it shifts out of the seal. Now both these windows shift out of the seal the exact same way, except the Yukon Denali is a little more rounded than the Escalade. But both the uh, cuts on these windows are going to be just about identical. Now I'm going to clean off the inside of the window with a 1 inch razor blade. Don't worry, it's not going to scratch the inside of the window like I've said in a bunch of other videos too. But this is a good time to really see if the window shifts out of the seal and how it shifts out of the seal. But most of the newer trucks and SUVs shift out the same way. So we want to clean it off. Now for this we use 20% Lumar ATC film to factory match the front of the windows to uh, the rear of the vehicle. It usually provides a pretty good match. I'm just cutting off this corner to make the film a little more manageable to work with. Uh, line up my bottom edge about half inch below that bottom seal. And then trim off the film on the long side of the window about halfway up the window instead of starting from the top and going to the bottom because that's the edge that pops out of the window. Now I'm going to shift it to the right about a quarter of an inch and then cut the uh, short side of the window all the way from the top to the bottom because that side stays the same all the way down the window. And I'm going to shift it back an eighth of an inch so I have an eighth inch overlap on both sides of the window. Now tack it to the window with a squeegee Lift up the bottom edge and roll it down a little bit farther than you normally would on a window because you want that top edge to pop out of the seal. That'll make it a lot easier to cut it all the way across. So I'm starting in the bottom left corner and working my way all the way around. And because this corner is a little more rounded, I can cut that out too as well and just keep cutting down as far down that window I can. Peel away my excess. Now I still have that little bit of extra that I need to cut off, so I'm going to roll up my window so I have a little bit more area to work with. And then I'm going to take a uh, conquistador, use a straight edge on that on the plastic side, and just cut from the top to the bottom. You can use a ruler or whatever other straight edge you want, it really doesn't matter. Make sure you have stainless steel blades too so that they don't scratch the window, or if you're scared of scratching the window you can always get a glass board and cut them on that. Now I'm just rounding off my corners like I normally would because you don't want any sharp edges in the film because those are the type of edges that will cut or uh, catch the uh, window and peel up. Just shrink it like normal. And insulation is just like any other window you would do. Just make sure that top edge lines up exactly the way you want it. As you can see this one's very very close to the edge of the window but it never goes over. Probably has like below a sixteenth inch of a gap and then install the window like normal. Now on this Escalade, I still have the film about half inch below the seal, just like normal. I'm going to cut off uh, the top corner of the film just to make it easier to work with. All these cuts you're going to see are going to be just about identical to the Denali. Just the window shape is a little bit different. The curvature is a little different. The seals on the Escalade are a little bit tighter than the, than the Denali, so insulation is going to be a little bit harder but it's all going to be pretty much the same. Shift it over about a quarter of an inch. Cut from the top to the bottom on the left side all the way because the window does not shift out of the seal on that side. Shift it back over an eighth of an inch and squeegee it to the window. Pick up my bottom edge. Roll it down just a little bit farther even than the Denali just because that top edge stays inside the seal for a bit longer than the Denali. Cut out my top edge. Now it's got a bit more of a point in that corner, so I have to make another cut just on that side. You want to take the blade and go as far down as you can in the seal, without cutting the seal of course. Peel off my excess film, roll the window up so I have a little more surface to work on, and then round my corners. And I also have to connect that line. Now I do quite a few of these, so I don't always need a straight edge, but you would still use a straight edge if you're a little uneasy. 
round off my rest of the corners. And then installations just like normal. The seals are a little bit tighter, so it may be a little more difficult to install it, but other than that, that's all there is to it. Thanks guys so much for watching. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, all that good stuff. Love to hear it, comments, feedback, any questions you guys got, I'm here to answer them. So thanks so much. See you guys later.